A Japanese American woman walks into a clinic at the University of Washington Hospital in 1960. Hobbling into the building on crutches, with thinning white hair, she looks like a frail old grandmother. Standing only 4 feet 8 inches tall and weighing only 67 pounds, she had almost no muscle or fat. It was remarkable her stick thin legs could even support her body at all. She limps over to the receptionist and in a squeaky hoarse voice asks to see the doctor. It is clear she cannot see very well. She has a droopy right eyelid and a glass eye. Her other remaining eye is visibly cloudy and scarred. The receptionist patiently waits for the woman to take out her ID and is shocked to see she is only 48 years old. This poor 48-year-old woman is trapped in an 80-year-old's body. Everyone dreams of being young forever. To slow time or even reverse the effects of aging would usher in a new age of human existence. From anti-aging creams to plastic surgeries to this 45-year-old CEO who spends $2 million every year to stay young, we chase youth like nobody's business. This guy apparently has an insane regimen with his daily 61 pill concoction, waking up at 4.30 in the morning, strict diets and exercise regimens. He says he has already reversed his biological clock by five years. I have no way to confirm nor deny this, but some say he will not stop until he fully transforms himself into a baby and crawls back into his mother's uterus. I kid, I kid. People like to dunk on him because it is easy, but his obsession with youth is not new. He just has the means and an especially driven discipline routine to match it. You may think he is crazy, but when you see that the cosmetic anti-aging beauty industry is worth $63 billion and only poised to grow larger, you realize he is not alone. There's no way around it. Getting old is a deeply disturbing experience for many. But despite all this, at least we can all take comfort in the fact that we are all in it together right? That until the ultra rich find and keep the cure for aging to themselves and secure their places as forever supreme overlords of an incredibly boring dystopia, we plebs are in good company with one another. Because after the age of 27, let's be real, nothing good is coming. With each year that passes, we are only going to get uglier, weaker, slower, and stupider. Yay! But the girl in today's story did not even have this basic comfort. Just imagine being in her shoes for a second. You think you have a normal life, and when you're in the peak of life's existence, it all comes crashing down. You have a nice childhood. You go to school, make a bunch of friends, finish college, and enter your 20s. The world is your oyster. You're in the prime of your life, and then instead of celebrating your 21st birthday, you celebrate your teeth and hair falling out. You celebrate by getting eye surgery for cataracts. But at least you now get the senior citizen discount at movies and people start offering you their seat on the bus, right? Yay! There are several Benjamin Button-like diseases out there in which people's age are not what they appear. There are people who age much faster than anticipated and the reverse of that. Those that seem to be stuck, frozen in time. These cases are fascinating because it goes to show aging may not be inevitable, that there may be something inside our biological blueprints that dictate how this process occurs. We'll touch on this briefly in this video, but I plan to do a deeper dive about all of this in the next one. If you don't want to miss out, please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you want to get these stories even earlier and delivered straight to your inbox, then please subscribe to my newsletter, link in the description. I am a board certified doctor and my aim is to bring you interesting cases to make you squirm, jump, laugh, and cry. H. McGee is a Japanese American born in 1916. She is the eldest daughter in a family of seven siblings. Their parents had no known medical conditions and immigrated from Okoyama, Japan, not too far from Hiroshima. H. McGee also had no known medical problems herself and met all childhood milestones until the age of 13 when she suddenly stopped growing. She enters high school of average height, but leaves it as its shortest. This is no coincidence. 
absent growth spurts after puberty is the first sign of this rare premature aging disease. When she turns 20, she is the heaviest she will ever be in her entire life at a mere 85 pounds. Mysteriously, despite taking in enough calories, she rapidly loses muscle mass and fat and soon drops to 66 pounds. Frail and delicate, her tiny frame makes her look like a small child. She only has two more years of relative quiet before a mountain of health problems to exponentially add up. At the age of 22, she is diagnosed with cataracts, a disease commonly found in people 80 years or older, usually because it literally takes 80 years for the proteins in the lens of the eye to actually break down rendering the lens cloudy in appearance. Without correction, one's vision gets blurry, distorted, even discolored. An excruciating pain soon attacks her right eye and she is diagnosed with acute glaucoma, another disease usually reserved for the old. The eye continuously produces a clear fluid that normally travels and drains at the base of the iris, but due to a blocked drain, the eye fills up like a pressurized balloon. Without immediate treatment, the increased pressure causes irreversible damage. The doctors are unable to save her eye and H. McGee's eyeball is surgically removed. Where her eye once was, a glass prosthesis is implanted instead. Her hair, once voluminous and shiny, rapidly begins to fall out. What is left on her scalp is sickly gray and soon after turns pale white. Her skin becomes spotted, wrinkled, and thin while painful ulcers form over her feet and ankles, never able to heal properly due to poor blood flow. She is only 31 and now experiencing hot flashes, a warning shot heralding potential menopause lurking just around the corner. Her voice becomes high-pitched and hoarse before disappearing altogether. Diabetes, atherosclerosis, and osteoporosis rapidly claim the rest of her body. In just a few more years, her transformation into an 80-year-old woman would be complete. No one who saw her would believe it, but she is only 40. Two other sisters in her family are soon diagnosed with the same disease after experiencing a similar period of accelerated aging. Three sisters now all look even older than their parents. The fact that her entire family is from Japan is actually relevant to this condition. Werner syndrome is her official diagnosis, a genetic condition that results from the loss of function of the WRN gene on chromosome 8. Geographic and family clusters have been reported in Japan, Sardinia, India, and Pakistan, all likely explained by the founder effect, a phenomenon that explains the reduced genetic diversity of an isolated group of descendants when they become isolated and separated from the rest of the human species. With less genetic variation, there is a higher probability that rare hidden genetic diseases manifest. But what does the WRN gene do and why does it cause accelerated aging? The WRN gene encodes a special type of protein of the helicase family. Helicase proteins are involved with the unzipping of DNA material. It even plays a role in maintaining our telomeres, the protective caps on the ends of DNA strands thought to be tied to how fast we age. Just like how a new car will get rusty over time, our bodies are the same way. Year after year, wear and tear damages our DNA blueprints, so unless there are strong repair mechanisms in place to keep things in order, our bodies will begin to show obvious signs of breakdown as well. This wear and tear usually catches up to us much later in life when we are actually 80, but for people like H. McG, without a proper repair system, this wear and tear becomes apparent much earlier. This also explains why people without a functioning WRN helicase are also more prone to cancers as well. DNA repair, mutations are free to accumulate until one day the signal prohibiting uncontrolled cell division is completely broken. This disease is called Werner's syndrome. While it has a very specific genetic basis, it is actually part of a family of diseases that all feature premature aging. Progeria is a disease that also results in rapid aging, but interestingly starts much more quickly and is already apparent even in the first few years of life. It is likely that F. Scott Fitzgerald based the curious case of Benjamin Button on this. Babies born with progeria can have a very striking appearance and eventually succumb to early heart disease and strokes, given the risk for accelerated atherosclerosis. And while there is no disease that causes someone to reverse an age, 
like in the case of Benjamin Button, there is a disease that causes you to stop aging altogether. Meet Brooke Greenberg, a 20-year-old woman trapped in a child's body. Her mysterious condition has been called Syndrome X. Born weighing just four pounds and needing surgery to correct an anterior hip dislocation, she was an otherwise healthy child. However, in the next six years of her life, she began experiencing a whole series of unexplained emergencies, seizures, strokes, and perforated stomach ulcers, a deadly condition where acid and bacteria leak out of a hole that forms in the stomach. At the age of five, doctors discovered a mass in her brain that caused her to go into a deep sleep for two weeks. Initially thought to be a brain tumor, when Brooke awoke two weeks later, the mass had mysteriously vanished. After this event, Brooke would mysteriously stop growing and would continue to inhabit the body of a five-year-old for the rest of her life until she died at the age of 20. Despite seeing an army of specialists, there was no known diagnosis, genetic condition, or disease that could explain her mysterious condition. Nutritionists, endocrinologists, family doctors, they were all initially optimistic, promising the family that she would eventually catch up. After growth hormone injections were found to have no effect, that is when everyone knew they had a problem. Assuming there were mutations associated with premature aging akin to Werner syndrome and progeria, geneticists sequenced Brooke's DNA, but they were wrong. Those genes were completely normal. What is most interesting about Brooke's case, while outwardly she appeared to be frozen in time, her actual organs were all developing at different rates, almost as if there was a master biologic body clock that was no longer in sync. For example, her brain looked like that of a newborn, while mentally she had the faculties of a one-year-old. Her bones, however, were that of a 10-year-old, and her teeth were estimated to be that of an eight-year-old. Blood tissue sampled from five other syndrome experts patients were found to actually be age appropriate, and in some cases, in even older than their chronologic age. In 2017, a breakthrough was discovered by Dr. Richard F. Walker and his colleagues. Because of Brooke's publicity and press coverage, seven more Syndrome X girls came out of the woodwork to be studied. Blood samples were sent to Dr. Radaje Darmanak. While a single genetic cause was not found, mutations were found in five different genes in five patients, all with similar genetic functions related to transcription regulation and chromatin modification. With a single typo in the DNA strand, the completely wrong protein is made. This protein has a vital role in the way DNA is packaged and processed and as a result, a whole slew of other protein and functions are screwed up as well. The chain reaction continues to spread until anomalies like Syndrome X are created. Interestingly, mutations in some of these identified genes are shared with autism and other types of developmental delay found today. The media thinks Syndrome X may be the key to unlocking eternal youth. But sadly, they are mistaken. The scientists argue Syndrome X arises from a malfunction in normal development and not because of some newfound ability to slow the aging process. Unfortunately, the mutations of Syndrome X are not involved in functions related to the repair of DNA damage or improved tissue maintenance, the prevailing theory today of how age can be slowed down. Because Syndrome X is already the name of a disease related to insulin resistance and way too catchy and mysterious, the scientists call for the renaming of this disease to something way harder to remember, Neotenic Complex Syndrome. During medical school, we do not focus on diseases like this because they are so rare and esoteric. However, they are fascinating because they provide a rare glimpse behind the curtain, giving us sneak peek into why it is that we are the way we are. It is astounding that even one tiny little type in our genetic sequence can have massive implications. If you are a healthy human being listening to me right now, consider yourself lucky. Your DNA machinery is humming along beautifully. Cases like Brooks always remind me of just how complicated the human body really is. The billions upon billions of moving parts all working in tandem every second. It's astoundingly humbling. At any rate, I'll leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed today's story. If you did, please remember to share and subscribe. Studies show that hitting the subscribe button makes you two times more likely to stay young. Okay, my friends, until next time, stay humble, stay healthy, stay fresh. Peace.